Welcome to the fastest off in town. Today we're going to start this Nazir Daf Samach Dalad. We are going to begin on the bottom of Samach Gimel Amid Beis, the fourth line from the bottom. Ketzad Yorat. So we learned in the Mishnah on Samach Gimel Amid Aleph that there is a concept called a Tumas Tohoim. That if no one knew about this mace and this mace was in the bottom of this water, then we say, since it's Meshukah Bakarka, and since you went in there, Yorin Lahaker, to cool off, we say, you're Tahar, even though normally Safek, Bershus Hayachid, Safekos Tame, however, it's Halach Mashmasina that you're Tahar in this situation. Okay. However, when it comes to, if let's say the body is floating on the top, it's Safal P Ha Mara, then Tameh. In that situation, it's considered to be a Giloi, it's revealed, and therefore we don't say that there is this din of Tumas Tahoy. So the Gemara says like this, Safa Ein Matama Le'inian Sheretz. So if it's floating, regarding this whole notion of it's bared or concealed, we do not say there is this element of Tumas Le'inian Sheretz. So as the Mephorish says, Kloimer, Afa gav the Tumas Mace, Safa Matuma, if when it comes to a Tumas Mace, of a dead body, that Safa's floating, Matama Besafik, we say Besafik Maga, let's say again, it's a Safik Rishos Yachid, so we say that your Tame, get it not of an Imsa Mace, Safa Al Panayamayim, However, if let's say we're not talking about a mace, we're talking about a sheretz, so the din is we're not going to say that. In the case of suffolk, we're not going to say your tummy. Shim sheretz saf al pneumayim. If you have a sheretz which is floating on the top of water, suffolk nagabai, suffolk go nagabai, sveko tahar. So this chumr is dafka by a mace. However, if the it's a sheretz that's floating, so in that situation we do not say this. That's what it means. So safa in a matamu in sheretz the sanya. Safik tuma if you have a, a suffix sheretz, if you touch the sheretz, so in and again it's floating, uh safa bin bakilam bin bakarka tahara. According to the Tanakama, the din is that if there's any case of a suffix, it doesn't matter if it was bakalim. Says the Mefarish, says the Indian sheretz mia enu chashuvu in suffix, shim sheretz saf al panayamayim, suffix nagobo, suffix lo nagobo, suffix tahar, the sign is suffix tumas safa, kloimer. Tumas safa, let's say you have this tumas floating, which is sheretz, who's suffix im nagobo, im lo nagobo, bain shehi safa bamayim, shibikalim, whether or not it's floating in water in a vessel, bain bamayim shibikarka, or let's say it's like it's in the water directly to the ground, it doesn't make any difference. <clears throat> the din by suffix sheretz is tahar. Shimon Armor Bekalim Tamea. If it is Bekali, then it's Tami. Bekarka Tahar. If there's not it's not connected to the land, um, if it is connected to the land, then it's Tahar. However, if there's a Kli, then it is Tame. So let's continue to Samach Dan Manaf. So my time the Tanakam. Why does the Tanakama say that it doesn't matter if it's or Rikarka, it's Tahar. So he says as follows. Amr of Yitzchak bar Avoidimi, Ksiv, the Pusik says, this is the Pusik in its entirety, Bechol Hasheretz Hasheretz al Aretz, any Sheretz on the ground, Sheketu wo ye achel. So you're not allowed to eat it. So based on this Diuk, it's Mashma Kol Makam Shehu Sheretz. Anywhere where it uh, can become a sheretz, which means even if it's floating on the water, it's tame. Vixiv al aretz, and maybe it's only if it's mamish on the ground, because it says the language of al aretz. So which one is it? Is it that it's even if it's not only is it only is it dafka the aretz, or is it even if it's not dafka? So how kates on? So vade magoni tame. It's coming to tell us the following din. If you definitely touch the sheretz, 
then there's nothing to talk about. You're telling me. However, suffix, if you, it's suffix mago tahar, but it's a suffix, whether or not you touch this uh, sheritz, the din is that <coughs> it is tahar. Says the Mefarsh. Ha ketzad, so vade naga batoma b'chol makayim. In any place, you're going to be tummy. Bin b'mayim, bin b'karka. Whether it's in the water, or it's on the ground, tummy. Ha selfeg naga gagadu acha shenimsa safal b'nimayim. It's floating in the water, her is that tar. Bin shenimsa safal b'mayim, shibakalim o b'mayim, shibakarka, the suffig maga saf, lo oilum tar. So, when it comes to a suffix, and this is what the Tanakam is saying, it doesn't make any difference. In all circumstances, we say it is tar. But Reb Shimon, Reb Shimon, who, as we said, is machalik between kalim and karka, that if it's if you have a sheretz bekli, it's tame. If it's on the ground, it's tahar. So Reb Shimon, my time, because Amr Uluk said, because he has the different pasuk. The pasuk says in its entirety, ach ma'ayin ubor mikvei ma'ayin tahar. That a person can immerse themselves in one of these bodies of water to become pure. But if you touch its it, in its status of being a nevela, it you'll become tummy. So uksiv yitma. It also says yitma. So hakainzad sapavikelam tummy bekarka tahar. So he's machalik. He says, when are we being more specific? It's dafka bekarka. However, if it's Bekeli, then it's Tame. Says Tysus, the Davka Dumyadim Ayin, Ubor Shahim Mayim Shal Gabi Karka. So the Pusik is talking about a boar, which is something which is like Al Gabi Karka. And therefore the Pusik is telling you that but Mayan Ubor Mikvi Mayim he had Tahar. So therefore we see that the Karka is Dumya to the Ayin Ubor. That's Shehim Mayim Al Shal Gabi Karka. Fine. Question number one. Tuma Safa Bamayim. You have Tuma floating in the water. Heim Taharin Safik Maga Bames O Bazov. Umahadin Masafik Hest O Medris Hazov. So, this doesn't really say all these answers. But we say Safik Maga Bames O Bazov Tahar. Savik haste, omedris hazav tame. So, this whole notion of suffix maga, if we're dealing with a mace, so we said that it is tahar. Or bezav, uh, tumazav ulster tahar. However, savik haste, omedris hazav, the din is that you are tame. Okay. Let's continue with the Gemara. Tanabon. So any time a person is only dragging, says Tysus, You have a person standing by water. And you have someone that's um, lowering down a sheretz. It's a subject, the person who's in the water, if he touched the sheretz. Oh, hanigrarim, shahoye chavero, gaira sheretz. He's like dragging a sheretz, al paniyamayim, on the water. Savig maga, savig tame. So, either case, the point is that we're dealing with a case of suffix touching <coughs> the sheretz. So, the din is, sveikan tame, mimne shehen, kimunachen. It's as though it's munach, like it's, it's stationary. It says, taisus, kimunachen, kivan shi. Yad Adam Typhus Bum, since a person's holding on to it, in Kandin Tuma Safa. We don't say it has the din of Tuma Safa, like it's floating. Because if it's floating, as we said over here, that uh, Safi Tuma Safa, according to Anakam, it's Tahar. But over here, because it's more Munach, it's like it's being uh, stationary, so the din is. That it will become uh, tummy. Uh, Masafik. Sveiko tummy says the Mafar, Shakol ha negro, ha nito, kamoshahain, munachin dami. It's like it's munach, it's rasta, havi kisavik tuma, versus yachid, a sveiko tummy. Fine. So again, it falls under the category of suffic tuma, versus yachid, that it is tummy. And what about from Saita? It's, it's brought down over here in the Mafar. The Xibba, the Nistra, the Nitma. That she was secluded and she became tame. 
which we're going to see over here, Shemeshash Zri Kasan, at the time of the sprinkling, uh, of the Zri Kasan, the throwing, Savik Maga Mahen Adam, Mikhailam Savik Lonaga, Sekotar, the way I'm reading, Kawuta Kamishahun Chadamia. We don't say, even though we got a Shabbos, according to the Shita Rebbe, we say that Kuta, the fact that it is like in the area, it's it's like it landed. We don't say that din, but rather we say it's considered to be like a tuma safa, like a floating tuma, and therefore a suffolk it is tahar. So see the Gemara, Vahan is rocking sveikain tahar. Chutz min kazai min kazai samais. Um, excluding the case of an of kazai uh, samais, va mahil al pnei tuma, and also someone who is in the same proximity as a mace, he'll also become Tuma, Tome, Tumas oil. Behold, Matamulamala, Kilmata. And any situation where it can be Matam above, like below, Yasui is Zava Zava. So we see from here, this is really like question one wasn't completed. So we see that this is the din by Zava to Zava, uh, that just like suffering Manga Bemace is Tahar, so too Bazav. Okay, let's look in the Tysus. Dover Shehu Matama Molmalo Kalamata, we assume Zava Zava Shenitva Behest. So it says that when it comes to Zava Zava, it will be Tommy Behest in it if it's moved. The Chain, this is why question one, I didn't really finish question one, you needed this Tysus. The Chain El Yoinishal Zava Zava Kilamata Meshkavoi. Deem Zava Zav Ibram Bamayim. If you have a zavah zavah passing the water by the water, the kli etzim they have a kli by them suffik hasito ein lanu v'tahir mishum tumas safa. We don't say that by tumas hast that it will we're lenient elba maga dafka dumi desheretz only by touching. So only when it comes to touching are we lenient. However, not by hast tumas hast we say suffik tame the chain im midrasay shavazav. So again, even if he just passes by and we're unsure by Tumas Medris, so again we see this is Tysus again, Suffolk Hest, O Medris Hazav Tame. That's what this Tysus said. Okay. Viter. <coughs> so the Gemara asks the following question. Boy, you remember Barchama. Mace Bakli, let's say you have a mace in a vessel. Which is like maybe somewhat munach. Ukli saf al mayim, but the kli is on the water. So mahu baser kli azlinan. Do we go baser the kli or baser mita azlinan? Do we go after the kli, or do we go baser uh, the fact that the kli is on the water? Let's look at this the mafarsh. We see zav zavish and nitma nami umalakal matish evan masama. Shem Yeshiv Zav Al Ha'Even, if a Zav sits on this stone, the Al Ha'Kelim, the Al Adam, Shehim B'Tay Chabor, Tachas Ha'Even, Nitma Ha'Adam Akeim, Kamo B'Maga Atzma, V'Chenim Azal Mo'Vadikol Hatar Yeshiv Al Even Misama, which again, like, which is like Medrus. So he asked the question: Safek Huloi Im Naga Oloi Naga Oloi. So this whole question: whether you touched the mace. So what is the din? Do we go baser kli? Says the mafarish. You command the munach al gabi karka dami. It's like it's resting on the ground on the ground. The suffing magutame and therefore suffing magutame. No baser mita zlinan umes mia ozel. There's a mace there. The sap alpani amayim. It's floating in the water. Agav a kli v'sveiko tahar. So yim tim salayim rebek lingamar baser kli zlinan. We go baser the kli, and therefore it's considered to be. Munach on the ground, and therefore suffering magotame. So mace al gabi sheretz mahu. What if the mace is on top of the sheretz? Given the high tumas era, the high tumas shiva. Since we're dealing with two different types of levels of toma, command the machta toma bekli damia. It's comparable to like being on the kli. That's like a hefsik, and therefore they're two separate things. Odilma toma smichtihi. It's like one form of toma, and therefore. Uh, it's it's not that there's like a hefsek between. Vim tim salamer command the machta tomuk bekli 
Dami, it's like it's one tumma. So the tummy command the machta tumma. The kli damya, there's actually it's like placed in a kli, and therefore again it would be tame. Uh so the tummy vadai, sherits al gabi nevela, the nevela safamaha. What if you have a sherits on top of a nevela and the nevela is floating? Kivan the turvaya tumas erev, since both a nevela and sherits it's only tuma for the evening. It's not tuma shiva. So inun tuma semichtehi. It's like one tuma. Ol dilma haikazas haikadasha. When it comes to nevela, the amount measurement it has to be at least the size of a kazais. When it comes to a sheretz, it's kadasha. So they're not the same. So sheretz are gabi sheretz ma. We have to have one on top of the other. So hani vani chad shirin who obviously it's the same shir. The ol dilma kivan the mafsekim hadadi loy. Since it, one is mafsek for the other one, because even though it's just one sheretz on top of the other sheretz, maybe that's still not good. Since they separate from the other kiman de manach v'kli damu, it's comparable to those in a kli, and therefore because of that it's tame. So sheretz on gabi nevela. What if you have a sheretz on top of a nevela shini muhua, which it, the nevela had liquefied? Mahu kivan de nimichua. Since it liquefied. Heavily mashke. It's like a liquid odel mahayuchahu. It's considered like a food. Says Tais, says in the farsh. Mi amrin kivan de nimucha. Since it was liquefied, havila mashka. Vesheret safal gabo. Vesheret is on top of that. Vesafik mago tahar. The command of safal pni hamayim dami. It's like it's on a liquid. It's just on water. If it's on a food, then maybe it's, uh, we're not going to say that it's like it's al safal gabi al al haaretz. So let's say it's actually food. So sheretz agabi shech vazera mahu. What if you have a sheretz on top of a shech vazera? It says, so let's look at the mafarsh. The shech vazera is soft al pnei amayim. The shech vazera is floating. Mi amrin in hoya v'shech vazera lab uchuhu. It's not edible. Heavily kamashka. It's like a liquid. V'havi sheretz soft v'sveiko tahar. Since it was like uprooted from your body of a person, it's not considered like a, a liquid. It says the Mafarish, like it gathers up in your body. So. If in fact you want to tell me that the Sheikh Mazera actually has the status of an Oichel, so Sheretz al Gabi Sheikh Mazera Mao, in terms of Kivan, the Miss Akra have a key Uchla, so Sheretz al Gabi Mechatos. What if you have Sheretz al Tabi Mechatos, or Mechatos, Safan al Pene Mai Mahu? Well, Yadinan Teku. So all these things we don't know, and therefore we end up with a Teku. Question two. Well, my Nafkamina E. Nevela shani muhua. If you have a nevela which has liquefied, if it's chashiv a mashke or an oichel. So as we said, for tumas sheretz hasafal gabeha. If you have a tumas sheretz which is floating on top of it, if it's a mashke, have a tumas safal paniyamayim. It's like it's on the water. What tire besveka? The oichel who it's a food have a sheretz bekli. It's like a sheretz like separating it like in a kli. The yishlomim the tuma munachasi. And therefore, it's Tumma Menachos, therefore, it, is, uh, it will be Tame. Okay. Question TB10. The question is asked, Ezo Tumma Sveiko Tahar Kishi Safa. What Tumma, if it's a Suffolk Tahar, Visveka, it's Tahar when it's floating on the water? <coughs> So the answer is kol tumas maga dumi to sheretz. Anything which is tumas maga, which is dumi to to a sheretz. Okay, that was T B ten. T B ten. Okay, let's continue on the next Omud. Samach dalma base. So Omur of Hamnuna, no zir v'oisa pesach. So you have. A person wants to bring a car in Pesach, or you have a case of a Nazir, Shaholchu be kever hatahoim. And they encountered a kever tahoim, Bishri Shalahen, on their seventh day. 
What does that mean? Uh, so we say that they remain Tahar. Says the Mefarsh, They became Tommy Thomas Mace, they were sprinkled on the third and seventh day. And then they encountered Kevin to home on the seventh day. They didn't know about this until they actually brought the cover Pesach. So we say Tahara. So we say Tahara. Be'afagam says the Mafarish to Timu Bishvi, she'll have to begin on the seventh day. Uh, since the time has already passed, uh, so that's the din. My time, my time of the low. Why don't we say that they're tame? So my time, the low alima tumas atahoyim will mister. That tumas atahoyim isn't strong enough to be sicer in this situation. Question three, we'll get to. But first, let's see question T A nine. Oisa Pesach Shahoch Bishvi Shaloi Bekever Hatahoyim Vlo Nodo Ad Shiakr Pisro Him Hu Tahar. So the answer, so it just says Tahar. But Taisis, we're going to see over here, is Machal Kaidim Tvila Tame. Lachar tefila tahar. It's going to be all totally T A nine on tefila. Let's see if we can uh, find that in Tesis. Okay, maybe we're not up to it yet. Um, okay, we'll get to that soon. So Masiv Rava, he asked a question. Yarid li taher metumas a A person came down to be metaher from being tummy mace, tame. Shecheskas tame tame, shecheskas, uh, and shecheskas tahar tahar. So it's a kasha. Our Mishnah said that since you had a chazaka being tame, we, you, we, you, uh, retain that level of toma. So why would we say that when it comes to a nazir, we also pass off, shalcha bekevet on the seventh, that you're tar. So I'm like, modin alach ben nazir shemachusir tegalachas. Well, admit to, by a case of a nazir, where he's missing tegalachas. Says the, so let's say the Mepharsh's question. Must have rabbi yarid, but nimsa meis meshukah bekarka. Right? So this is a case of, of, Tumas Tahoim. Bahacha Nami Kivan the Havi Bekheskas Tame Bishvi Shalo he was Hakaskas Tame Kishanitma Bekever Hatahoim Lafi Shadain Lu Gilach to Galachas Tuma the Nazirus. So he said, Kivan de Nitma Biyam Shvi. Since he became Tame on the seventh day, Kaitn to Galachas to Tame Vyafil Kilona Lo Adl Achar Gilach to Tahara Mishum the Mechuser to Galachas Tuma Kinitma Bekever Hatahoim. So actually, you're right that if a person becomes in contact uh, in this situation, would become tummy, provided that it was done be- before uh, before tiglachas, because that is uh, is akiv. Amuli Rav Afa Namodin Alach Ba'isa Pesach Do Mechuser V'Loikum. So at least you should admit when there's nothing missing. Then that in fact would be fine, and it would not be soicer. What do you mean? It's missing erev shemesh. So arva. The sun sets by itself. That's something which is mamela, and therefore, even if it didn't, the person hasn't achieved erev shemesh, that's not going to be a problem. The alpha by hadarbe. He also retracted the sanya. Yoimulois tavi. So the din is like this. When you give birth to a girl, the first 14 days, she, the woman is tame, the mother. Then the next 66 days until day 80, it's dam tahar. Any dam she sees is dam tahar. If she has a miscarriage, let's say on day on the 81st day, when she was to bring a carbon, she didn't bring a carbon, she has to actually bring two carbonates. Yomolois Tavi. So if again it was on the Yomolois, she has to bring a second carbon. So uh, however, Taich Molois Lo Tavi. If let's say that she 
saw she had a miscarriage before that, before the 81st day, then she would not have to bring a second carbon. You would think you don't have to bring a carbon uh, the later if, before the counting of you only bring uh, the carbon you made to harb only only on the eighty first day, but not before. Over here we're missing carbon. Which is what we said before. Okay, we're going to actually stop there. Let's look at this Tysus. If she gave birth again on the 81st day, Tavi Beis Karbanos, which we said. You have to bring two. If she gave birth to another child, you only have to bring one carbon. Skipping a bunch of lines. The reason why you can bring one carbon is because she was misbringing that carbon. There was never a moment that she was able to bring that carbon. Okay. Um, fine. Let's see if maybe there's another question here. Let's look at question three. Do we say that there's this dinner to Mustahim to Metahir Nazir on the seventh day? So Achar Tiglachas Tahar. Kaidim Tiglachas Tomei. So if it took place after the Tiglachas, then we say it's Tahar. But if it took place before the Tiglachas, which is Ma'akib, so then the din is that he is Tomei. I'd come.